Washington, two giant pandas on loan from China appear to be adapting well to their new environment at the National Zoo. Take a look here at Bao Li and Ching Bao. They're in protective quarantine. They say they have their toys to stay alert. They're hanging out with each other and getting used to their new environment. Public debut Sorry. scheduled for the 24th. What happened? Oh. January 24th. The ball just slipped right out of his hand. It happened. Her hand. So cute. You know, we always call them cuddly, but, you know, who cuddles with a panda except for the handlers, you know? <laughs> Like, like, we can't walk in there. And, yeah. you know, no, we'd get arrested really quick. They are great to look at, though. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> she's a, she's, oh, sorry. she's got a lot of words. <laughs> a lot of words. Lots of words. All right. happen often. Mm, I have so many words. It's like too many words, some would argue. So there's a hair right in the middle of my... Anyway, I'm just see? Gonna roll. Yeah, you see it, Tony? I'm like... Is yeah, I said that. Happening. Okay, let's get you outside at 919 on our Sunday morning. Cooler conditions, but sunny skies, beautiful live look outside, 46 degrees right now in the park. For the five boroughs, most of us still in the 40s. Rockway Beach up to 50 now, 47 for New Dorp, Fordham at 48 degrees, but it's cool, right? You're noticing the difference, and some of our suburbs are still in the 30s. That lets you know how chilly we started. 38 in Andover, 39 for Poughkeepsie, 47 for Bridgeport, 45 for Belmar. The breeze is still out there, it's still a little on the noticeable size, aside, but not nearly as gusty as what we dealt with yesterday. The sky is sunny. So the cold front that brought us the blustery wind yesterday, that's long gone. For today, it's the weakening wind and the sunny skies, but the colder air that continues to move in behind the front. This morning, chilly enough, but tomorrow temperatures are just a touch cooler, which means breeze watches for Orange Counties, breeze warning for Central and South Jersey. Temperatures tomorrow morning are going to be chilly. But after our cold start to our Monday morning, then we kick off the warming trend that brings 70s back by the middle of the week. Today, noticeably cooler than yesterday as our highs are capped in the mid to upper 50s. A touch below the seasonal average, and given how mild the month of October has been, you'll notice the difference. But lucky us, it's a calmer wind and a sunny sky, so as long as you have the jackets as you head out and about, still a picture-perfect forecast for any of the fall activity if you're heading to the uh, apple orchards or pumpkin patches. Leaf peeping today is going to be just fine with these weather conditions, as long as you're warming up. Moving into tomorrow morning, mentioned the temperatures will be colder. Some of our suburbs, even starting in the 20s, well north and west of the city, we do expect to be sub-breezing tomorrow morning. In the city, low 40s, but a lot of the suburbs in the 30s. So that is a cold starting spot for our Monday morning. But moving into tomorrow afternoon, sunny skies, calm winds, and we'll end up close to the seasonal average near 60. After tomorrow is when we'll really start to notice that warming trend taking effect. Milder on Tuesday, 70s again by Wednesday. Today, hour by hour, you see our highs making their way to the 50s under a sunny sky. We stay clear and quiet into tonight. 59 is a touch below the seasonal average, but with the sunshine and the light breeze, I still think you're just fine to get outside and enjoy the sunshine. Tonight, clear and cold, many suburbs in the 30s, sub freezing well north and west of New York City. It's a cold starting spot for a Monday morning. Kids will need the coats heading to the bus stop, but tomorrow afternoon, beautiful fall day with seasonable highs near 60 and a lot of sunshine. Of course, the big headline tomorrow are our Yankees returning home for game three of the World Series. First pitch in the Bronx at 8.08. So the sun will have set and temperatures will be chilly. Early in the game, low 50s, late in the game, upper 40s. So you do want to add that extra layer if you're heading up to Yankee Stadium, but with a clear sky and calm wind it does look like a beautiful night for a little october baseball lucky us still be uh, to still be playing october baseball right that warming trend makes us feel a lot more comfortable by tuesday and by wednesday 70s but it does not stop there by thursday no tricks in this scary warm forecast our high temperatures are closer to records than averages we're almost 20 above normal for trick-or-treating on thursday tony and pedro danny thank you extra hopes wishes prayers and <laughs> A lot of angry words from Yankee fans this morning. Uh, the Bones are heading back to the Bronx down two games to none in the oh. World Series. This is Los Angeles maybe losing one of its biggest bats. Go ahead.